My name is Valerie Underwood, and I am a Lockheed Martin Fellow. My name is Travis Lenhart. I'm a Lockheed Martin Staff Systems Engineer. My name is Lillian Adrigan. I was formerly a Principal Engineer at Lockheed Martin. The Navy sailor needs to know the capability of his radar in order to perform any kind of mission, defense mission or anything else. And what our patent does is it's an apparatus that enables the generation of that software that is used when he presses the button to check on his radar, the generation of the software that is used to ensure that all the components in this very complex radar are operating to the specification he needs to perform the mission. Just like today, you would take your car in and run diagnostics on the car to find out what's wrong with it. In a similar fashion on the Aegis ships, this software does it at a real-time basis and also at specific times when the Navy sailor needs to run a test. For instance, the power supply. Even in our own you know, equipment that we have at home, power supplies can go bad. There are several uh, signal processing components. Uh, there's everything from a radio frequency modulator to driver pre-drivers. There's a lot of hardware-based equipment that could be examined for fault. I was given the task of re-architecting the operational readiness test system. So we got together, the timeline was just so tight, and what we had to do was so hard, and we essentially said, you know, we can leverage artificial intelligence technology, we can leverage what's in the industry, and let's apply it here. One of the, the benefits of the, of the methodology is that it extracts, allows one to extract data from more static source code. And by extracting that data, you're able to look and see visually what requirements are, what the expected values are, what the actions that the operator should perform, all in a very easily readable uh, fashion. The accuracy by the apparatus that we built, the accuracy of the test is far beyond what it was in the past, what it could be because of the human touch being removed. Thomas Edison changed the world. He really did. He created a new world that wasn't there before he came into play. If you think of today what we call a startup, you might be able to just broadly brush it and say that he was a man who had a startup and in the research company. So for me personally, to be awarded this great honor encourages me as I step out in my own startup. Personally, I, I believe that this is an indication to me that I, that I should keep on uh, looking and inventing and, and it's just a process that doesn't stop. And to be honored with something as significant as an award in his name just encourages me that the background work that we do in the sciences, the research and developments that we make in the sciences really can make the world a better place. We can change things for the better.